G'day, okay, this is gonna be a pretty quick video. Uh, we're gonna make a few mallets. Uh, they're gonna be turned on a lathe. Uh, what I'm gonna use is all these nice pieces of hardwood, very hardwood. I've also got some leftovers from my longboard veneers, so they're not technically recycled skateboards yet because they were never ridden. Uh, a couple of veneers that I've made up from recycled skateboards, leftover pallet wood lamination. Uh, I'll get them all glued up and made into blanks. We'll then take them over, I'll introduce you to a bloke named Dale. Uh, I think you're gonna be impressed with what he can do with a lathe. And um, he'll spin them up for us and then we'll show you the end result. Sound good? Cool. Check it out, new addition to the shop, silicon baking mat. It's a big one. I'm gonna try and not get all my stuff covered in glue. Not to be outdone by the $2 silicon spatula. It's the go. Okay, now all we gotta do is glue this together and I'm pretty much done out of all this and uh, all the hard work is going to Dale. Probably a little too much glue, just a little. Alrighty, that's two. I'm gonna turn the fan on because I am dying in here without the air moving. Okay, just quickly, that's my part done. I'm now heading over to Dale's place and he's gonna spin all these mallets up for me. Uh, what I am going to ask of you is that you share this video with someone that you think will appreciate it. I think it's pretty inspirational uh, how Dale gets things done. Um, and we've been showing a little bit of that on Instagram lately and the response has been pretty awesome. So if you've got someone in mind that you think would like to see it, just send that video on to them and that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much, and hope you enjoy watching the next part. It's a nice hard shit you got. Measure none, hit twice. Yep, that should be a fresh link. That's a freshie. Yeah. Cool. Teamwork. Awesome. <laughs> there is nothing romantic about getting old. Hang on. Everyone needs a perm when you're bald. <laughs> Not quite round. So you can hear the chatter because I'm going across all those different types of timbers. We're going from different density to different density. So that way it doesn't quite cut as clean as if it's the same timber just going to side grain. 
You can hear it right there. And there. Your face isn't in it. <laughs> Damn it. Needs to be. Yeah. Turny, turny on fast speed. Sandy, sandy on low speed. That's why my dentist hates me. <laughs> <laughs> I got that on camera. Hey. <laughs> I got that on camera. Did you? <laughs> Seriously, that why that tooth is shorter than that tooth. <laughs> <laughs> what is this stuff again? This stuff? Yeah. Oh, this stuff is my secret herbs and spices. You're not going to tell me, are you? Nah, shit, mate. <laughs> if I tell you, you know what needs to happen. You have to kill me? Ah, oh, something like that. And here comes the money shot. Have a look at that. Spin him around. Particularly on that end grain, look at that. Now for something like a mallet, this will be really, really handy because that oil will sink in. It's also a burnishing oil, so it sets in hard. It'll go off within the pores of the grain and actually set in solid within the timber. That will even make the timber, for being a mallet, more and more durable. That's really important when we've got this sort of stuff where we've got so many different grains and pine. Oops. Oh, no. Jeez. Sorry, buddy. Quality control, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful, man. Cool. So then I always wet sand after I've oiled. That will then fill up those pores. That way we end up with a far smoother finish. And any of those little imperfections that we had, even any of the tiny little cracks, with that slurry I've got on there, I can actually fill those. That way we're not dealing with an artificial filler that doesn't expand and contract at the same rate as the timber does. This will, because it is the timber. And there we go, we're pretty much rough turned. Rough? Ah, you know, there's a few little imperfections in it. Doesn't look very But that rough, might mate. be the glue upper rather than the turner upper. Oh, turn it up! Hey, hey! <laughs> Pretty much, that's the, the end of the turning bit. Just got to do a little bit of clean up on the end. Knock that little bit off. Wasn't feeling too adventurous today to actually part that off on there. So, you know, you get that with the big jobs. All good. Don't go anywhere. Why is that? Oh, seriously? So here's some more, mate. And I'm going. Catch you later. Where's my bottle of red? <laughs> <laughs> Catch you, big fella. See you, mate. So this is not recommended practice. Do as I say, not as I do. Never, ever, ever cut a roundy, roundy thing on a bandsaw. Unless you do it like that. Alrighty, here we go. Two good looking fellas. There's number one of five. So stay tuned for the rest. Dale's gonna spin these up over the coming days. <laughs> G'day mate. <laughs> <laughs> well mate, there we go. Roundy roundy. The finishing actually took longer than the turning itself. But I think you'll admit that when I actually cut it off, still on the lathe of course, this will be the bum bit. This will be the buff bit. But have a crack at that. What do you reckon? Oops, blurry. Next time.
G'day everybody, thanks very much for watching. Check out these mallets, I think you'll agree they are stunning. Keep an eye on Dale's Instagram, for the rest they'll be out within a few days.